welcome. Today we're going to be doing a 10 minute leg stretch on the floor. So let's start with our hamstrings. So we're going to sit like this. You could sit on a block if you're really struggling to sit like this. Um, you could have your legs slightly apart if you're really tight. Okay, so I'm just going to sit nice and tall and relax forward. Keep your feet relaxed for now. And then just ease yourself into that hamstring stretch. Don't strain, don't try and reach your toes. Just place your hands down wherever they are comfortably lying. Okay. And then we're going to flex one foot, so pull the toes up towards the sky. And relax, and flex the other foot. So you feel a calf stretch, and you also probably feel a sensation underneath your the back of your knee, all connected. Just keep alternating and keep flexing one foot and releasing and flexing. Depending on your leg shape, your heel might actually come off the ground. So really try to imprint the back of the knee to the ground and then the heel might come off. going to do both feet at the same time so really flex them as much as you can if you're really tight you could use a stretchy band or a jump or anything just holding up the feet um, if you're quite loose you want to grab the outside of your foot and pull the little toes round right because the feet tend to sort of banana themselves round so we want to have the little toes around if you imagine you stood flat on the floor so this is my floor there we go or you could do this against the wall, that works really well as well. I'm just going to stay in there a little bit longer. You may gently sway from side to side like a seaweed in the ocean. So depending where you're tied, you'll also obviously feel this in your spine, which is all good. But most people will get a stretch in their hamstrings here as well. and recover. If this is too much for you with two legs, you can always go and do one leg at a time. So we'd be folding one leg in, leaning forward, unless you've got really tight hips, if that's uncomfortable, then just have the legs slightly out and focus onto the forward one. Okay, we shall be doing the inner thighs next. So I'm going to sit in the butterfly. Now again, for lots of people, this is really uncomfortable. You want to prop your bum up onto something. It can be a cushion or a series of cushions. Um, you're just going to sit tall and flap the butterfly's wings open. There we go. So I'm quite loose here, but I know a lot of people will be here, and that's um, very strenuous. So you could even do this with your back against the wall. It will make life much easier. Just easing in. Okay, then we're going to play a little bit of tug of war. So we're going to place one hand on the floor, the other hand on your knee. So you're pushing the thigh down, which will increase the stretch in the inner thigh, but the thigh is also pushing up. So nobody wins. Your hand is pushing down, the thigh is pushing up. So we're really activating those inner thighs. Hold for 8 to 12 seconds. And then you allow the hand to gently win and push the thigh down a little bit further. And again, this one works really well with you propped up against the wall. So let's do that twice more. Pushing up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And relax. Twice more. Pushing up. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. One more. And push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, relax. Other side. This also works very well with a partner. Pushing up. Two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven, eight, relax. Only you might notice that one side is a lot tighter than the other. This one, I can actually feel my hip flexor complaining. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, relax. Twice more, and push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, relax. And push. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, relax. Well done, we're going to be doing the hip flexors next. Lie on your backs. I'm going to fold one knee into your chest and extend the other leg away. So most people will feel a stretch here already. If you don't feel a stretch there, then you want to prop up your bum. And what I mean with bum is it needs to be in a position where whatever the prop is lifts your pubic bone higher. So it's no good putting it into the lower spine because I'm just going to arch my spine and not feel anything. So whatever you put under, it can be a towel, rolled up towel, pillow, it doesn't really matter if you find something. It ought to aid so that your pubic bone is higher than your hip bones. Okay, so my back is now supported, it's not touching, but I'm getting a much better stretch in my hip flexors. So nice and gentle, we're just going to hold this. The more you fold this top leg in, the better the stretch will be for this leg. Now what the underneath leg tends to do is coming to the side, not really underneath you, so you wouldn't be able to stand like this, your standing legs it tends to sway up. So really focus on a straight line, bring the underneath leg in line with your nose and you see how that stretch changes. You also find that the leg wants to rotate out, so we're trying to keep it really nice and parallel. And lengthen. So from there, you're just going to sway this underneath leg from side to side. Just a few more times. Excellent. Try to keep it in the middle. Now we're going to soften the knee of the extended leg until the heel touches the ground. So I'm allowing it to bend. Heel is touching ground. And then I'm thinking of stretching through the back of my knee into the heel and flex the foot. And the stretch across your hip flexor will increase. And again, touching ground, lengthening through the back of the knee, flexing the foot. And twice more, touching ground, and lengthening, extending, make sure your tummy stays in, core engaged, and relax one more and lengthen, extend, make the leg as long as you possibly can and then see whether that lengthened leg would lower a little bit further. There we go, hip flexors done, other side. Just easing in and then gently sway the leg from side to side. And again, this might be very different from side to side. You always have a tighter side and a looser side. Excellent. Keep the leg in the middle, right underneath you, in line with your nose, and allowing the heel to touch ground. Stretching back of knee, lengthen and flex foot. And I'm going to do that three more times. Relax and lengthen and flex and relax lengthen through back of knee and flex one more time relax lengthen keep the leg as long as you can and then see whether it will lower a little bit further excellent taking the block out a little quick quad stretch. So folding the knees to 90, grabbing hold of the foot or the ankle. You might need to have a strap or grab your leggings or socks. 
do a tuck under, float the knee back. So the important thing is tucking under and pushing the knee down to midline. If you're tight, your leg will be there. So pushing it right down and the last thing you do is back. So you can either just hold it there, enjoying that stretch, or you can move it around, circling. So if you were circling, let's do four in each direction, which means I'm going to be changing now. Excellent. And I'm going to go on the other side. I think this might be 12 minutes rather than 10. So legs to 90. Grab the foot, ankle, sock, trousers, stretchy band. Tuck under. Bring the leg down to the midline and hold a circle. I'm going to circle again. Two, three, four, and the other way around. One, two, three, four. Last thing. Turn it onto your back. And this is for your abductors and bum. So you're going to fold one leg over, hands loop through the other side, there we go, so I'm holding on, pull the knee as much towards me as I can, so we're aiming to set this knee away and pull the other knee in and you feel a stretch in your glute area, okay, so you can either stay there or rock from side to side. And if you're rocking that, see if you gradually can bring the folded leg closer towards you. And relax and swap the legs over. So looping through again. Again, if you have trouble getting your hands around, use a strap or a band or a sock. Jumper, just be a little bit of creative. And rocking from side to side. Seeing whether this leg will float closer towards you. Okay, and release. Okay, well done. So that was your 12 minute seated leg stretch. We'll see you soon and we might be doing a standing up one as well. Bye.